Hey, welcome to Square Body Stuff. I'm Chad, and we've got a special little box sitting on the bench. All right, for those of you who might be new to the channel, what we're building and what this box is for is for a project that, honestly, nobody in their right mind should be spending this amount of money on. Uh, I'm, I'm building a 305. Not just a 305, I'm putting a 383 crank in it, which makes it a 339. So I'm building a Stroker 339 for nitrous. I'm going to be hitting it with some nitrous, at least a 250 shot. Uh, we've got some ideas of maybe having some more on hand, but that's, that's something for later. But we're building a Stroker 305 to run nitrous. Uh, if you're not familiar with the truck I'm running in, it's my little 78 C10 short bed step side that we call squeaky go check him out i've got some other videos in the past uh with the, the 305 the way it was uh if you're interested in that go check those videos out uh, i've got a whole playlist with that truck in it what i've done to the truck and everything so go check that out um the other interesting thing if you're not familiar with the truck is it still has the truck four speed the old sm465 uh that guy is sitting right there I made a little deal to put into uh, the an engine stand so I can put it on a stand and kind of go through it and check it out. Just kind of, well, about the way I've got this Allison. That's kind of got you caught up on what this is going in and what this is for. Uh, I know I shouldn't really be that excited about a set of pistons, but uh, if you've ever built a, and you probably haven't because nobody really builds Stroker 305s, it's... I'll just be honest with you guys, uh, if you're going to try to build something for power, nitrous, and have fun, honestly, a 305 is not the best platform. I get it. I know. The reason I'm building this is because, I don't know, just something different, something, you know, just to see what a 305 is capable of. Just, just be kind of stupid with it. I'm going to waste my money so you don't have to, so you can follow this along and watch somebody spend money on... Uh, boat anchor 305 but the trick is having fun with it and i'm having a blast with this motor i've had a blast with this thing since i got the truck when it was a bone stock 305 so let's get into what's in this little box uh if you've seen my short i put out a few days ago or yesterday whenever it was uh you'll probably know that it's a set of pistons now if you go to order a set of pistons for a 3.796 which is a 60 over 305 with a six inch rod for a 3.75 inch stroke you don't come across a whole lot of options uh, that's where this company comes into play dss racing they're out of st charles illinois uh, all american made everything is made in-house they machine everything there these are nitrous ready pistons uh, this is the only company, um, there may be others out there, but what I kept coming across uh, that really fit my application was this company. And I called them up, they hooked me up with an awesome deal on them, uh, not technically sponsored by them, but they did give me a good discount and I truly appreciate it because, uh, like I said before, I'm, I'm spending way more money on a 305 than what any sane person should. Uh, I'm, I probably need to have my marbles checked and maybe it's... I didn't see that spot in my head. I had a rock hit me in the head, and it actually got stuck in my skin when I was weed eating earlier this this year. So maybe it done some damage. I don't know, but it's it still hadn't healed up. All right, so that's enough of me yakking. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty excited, more excited than I should be about pistons, but it is what it is. So I haven't actually even opened this box up yet. Have no idea what they look like other than what the pictures I've seen on the internet. So. I'm going to set the camera up and get a, you know, true reaction. Um, I'm excited. Hope you guys are excited, too, to see this build progress. I know it's been a long time coming. I've had a lot going on. I appreciate you guys sticking with it. But we're going to get this thing ready for No Name Nationals. Uh, that's a little plug for the event we're going to in Sykeston, Missouri, at the end of September, 1st of October. Uh, it's going to be a big YouTube event. We're I mean, it's, it's going to be a blast. They're going to have uh, drag racing. They're going to have burnout contest. Uh, it's going to be pretty cool. And uh, mini bikes or monkey bikes, whatever they call them. There's and just a kind of a show and shine deal. 
and just a lot of YouTubers getting together and, and having a lot of fun. Uh, spectators are welcome. You don't have to have a YouTube, YouTube channel to show up to uh, spectate. But if you want to have a vehicle in there, you have to have at least 500 subscribers on YouTube. So that's the kind of stipulation. But any of my fans out there that want to come watch, uh, go check out No Name Nationals. Uh, type that in your Google search or hit the hashtag or whatever it is. Uh, and that'll give you the information of when, where, how much, and all that stuff. All right. So the only unboxing I've done up to this point is get it out of the, the shipping box. So let's open this up. All right, got some rings, pin clips. Ah, oh, this is the most important part, the stickers. I love the stickers. I'll set those aside. Uh, let's see, these should be more, more rings. Here's the rings. These must be the file fit top rings. They didn't have the, the top rings I was wanting in stock, the size I'm wanting, so they sent file fit rings. Uh, I'm assuming that's what these are. Uh, instructions. That might come in handy. Maybe. I even want to touch them with my bare, grubby hands. Look at that. Yeah, it's just a forged flat top piston, but uh, they do have some, uh, what they call the X-Ring technology. Uh, I'll probably go over more of that, maybe the technical part of these pistons in another video. Uh, I'll do a little more research so I sound a little more professional about it, but right now I just want to do an unboxing and... Uh, just get a look at these bad boys and share them with you. This should get me about around 10 and a half to 11 to 1 compression. Depends on where we end up with the heads I'm using. Uh, I'm using the 128 uh, L98. The casting number is 128, but they're L98 aluminum Corvette tune port injection heads. I'll show you real quick. One of these guys, they got 58 cc combustion chambers. I'm going to clean them up, so it's probably going to be they'll be opened up a little bit, so they'll I'll drop a little bit of compression. But even with uh 60 or 62, I'm going to be above 10 and a half to one or above 10 to one compression, and that's where I really want to stay. I don't want to get too high compression because I still want to run this thing on the street on pump gas. Uh, so I can drive it around, but it's gonna be, this is awesome. I'm excited. I was worried that I wouldn't be able to get the pistons in for this engine to get it done in time, but we don't have to worry about that anymore. Thank you, DSS. Uh, I'm gonna cut it off here. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, just like a little kid in a candy store right now. Uh, so till next time, you'll keep your square bodies rolling. We'll go over these in another video, get a little more in depth on them maybe, and we'll check you later.